All right, uh, got my facts right now. Heather Rigdon is the artist, right, of the next track coming up. And uh, I'll just try and get that on uh, on, on screen uh, uh, at the same time while I talk. I mean, as soon as I get rich and a little bit famous, I'll actually have someone helping me write these on the, on the screen. Because I tell you, to do all this with one mouse and figure it all out, you are... Uh, well, you've got to be a little bit crazy. So the next artist, just on the screen, there you go, Heather, <laughs> Heather R- Ringder. I'm having a good time because I tell you, if you want to see this, uh, all this stuff coming through uh, on uh, Fata Fata page, yeah, you, you'd be just as excited as I am. It's really coming through on LinkedIn. It's like, wow, we got over something like 110 uh, not hits, but you know, um, posts to uh, play the articles, and we do. We're honest that we're alive, and we're going to do it. Now, the track is called "My Weakness," uh, and the writers are Fred Rohan Vargas. Um, actually, it's uh, Rohan or Fred. Uh, Fred actually uh, made the contact, and D. Michael Whedon. So these are the writers of this uh, nice track coming up. It's called "My Weakness." And uh, the vocalist, the artist uh, showcasing the song is uh, Heather Rigdon. Because uh, if people don't know anything uh, about copyright and stuff, because we're in the music biz in general, I'll tell you. In the old days, let me tell you this so that you just know the facts. In the old days, uh, the singers were just getting paid to sing the song, right? That's it. They were just getting paid to sing the song. And that was all that they were allowed to do. Uh, And they got paid, and that was it, and they were out, you know. That was was all there is to it. Um, And for performing, whatever that was. They got no royalties every time the song was spinned on the radio or the TV. You know, the writers got that. But things changed. Some mechanical rights and things like that, you know, uh, came up. And uh, things changed. So the performer actually now gets a bit of a royalty. Um... I'm seeing that people are popping online with the Skype, so you know people want to try and join in the conversation on this uh, odd hour one show. It's a it's it's a live show. It doesn't have any planning to it. I do have a playlist that I try and keep to, uh, and play the songs that I promised that I would, and uh, I'll do it no matter what. But if you do want to come on the line, uh, basically you'd have to go to where it says Luke Music MP3 and uh, ask for the contact, uh, simple as that, I would obviously say yes, uh, oh, and you know, if you come up and you happen to be a bad guy, then I'll just, you know, switch you off, so, don't try it, you know, don't, don't even think about it, I'll just switch you off, ah, <laughs> a bit of fun, now, go back to the artist, um, don't know much about, about Heather Ringman, don't really know much about the whole structure of uh, uh, my weakness but I do like it it's quite nice I heard it so therefore I'm going to play it going to give it a plug and uh, whatever comes our way we don't just play it once we will play it a few times you know for the month to finish we don't just play it once and forget about it it gets on a playlist and it's rotated around and played Um, as long as somebody doesn't ring up and threaten me or something like that you know so that is basically it so um, without further ado, uh, let's get on with uh, playing the track. Okay, so I'll do a little jingle and we'll play it and then we'll have a bit more chat, so to speak. Welcome to, to the real world. This is the track. Heather Rigdon. I look out at the stormy clouds. Wondering what's better Should I stay with you even now Though we seem like leaves apart Falling rain hits my face Sliding down my teary eyes Wash away all your scent and the hope our love won't die My love for you, my weakness My weakness, why should I lie? 
Nothing I say would be enough to bring us both closer, like the thunder that sounds so rough. I feel we act the same. Falling rain hits my face, sliding down my teary eyes. Wash away all your sins, and the hope our love won't die. My love for you, my weakness, my weakness. Why should? We have our own set conviction, stand in our way, losing our bond. That was once strong, knowing there's no turning back. The clock hand falling rain hits my face, sliding down my teary eyes. Wash away all your sins, and the hope our love won't die. My love for you, my weakness, my weakness. Why should I hide? Good. To Absolutely beautiful, and I do allow the credits because people should be credited where credit is due. And、uh, when people work on a project like that, and most of the time, in our experience, a lot of the people don't actually、uh, get paid, or if they do, they they go for their expenses, and that's a, a nice thing, you know, because. At the end of the day, if you don't have a big major label behind you, and anyway, if you do have a major label behind you and they cough up the money for、uh, you to go out and do a video or do a studio, they—I、uh, could tell you now—they don't do it for free. You know, they—they they don't exactly like think. You know, hey, I think you're a nice bunch of people. I'm gonna、uh, pay for your way all the way and make you famous and so on and so forth. They don't do that. You know, if people actually think that a record label. Gives them a ticket to a lot of money, a lot of dosh, we say in English, and、uh, think that you know they've made it.、Uh, it's not really as easy as that. There, there are people that have had three, four number one hit singles and haven't made a penny. They've actually gone broke, and、uh, yes, they have actually ended up owing the record label. Yes, they have, because you get an advance, so to speak, you know, and if you don't spend it correctly. Then you're pretty much well fucked, I would say. So you know you need to、uh, look out what you're doing if you ever get these、uh, offers, because they may sound pretty good, but at the end of the day, you know if you sort of like end up like this, you know I got a record late, why not? But you you're a dead person. Anyway,、uh, onto the track that we just said, Heather Ringdon,、uh, very nice vocal indeed. I like the strings. Like the arrangement、uh, in general is very nice. It's suited with the、uh, situation there, and many a time you can see visually that hey, this reminds me of something, and that hit me. You know that was pretty good.、Uh, good writing from、um, Fred Rohan Vargas and D. Mark Whedon. Yeah, good writing on them.、Uh, if they got any more stuff, yeah, post it along. Fatsa Fatsa Show. Uh, as long as I have a downloadable link and don't make my life real, real difficult. And、uh, obviously, if it's an original, it will be nice because otherwise we end up in copyright stuff,、uh, and then a lot of people like you know run after us, you know. So 
but it would be very very nice if you could uh, keep it original because that's the idea really to promote uh, you guys uh, the original stuff because if you go for the um, uh, the recorded stuff just cover versions you're just putting money into the other writers as well now you could say and I would say this to you as well if you really think you can do a good version of a particular song uh, and that will get you noticed and uh, I could tell you a few songs that will get you noticed that haven't been done all that well uh, then that is one way to break into the mainstream a lot of people have done it uh, and it does happen and if and when I manage a band usually my advice is to them to let's say hey for the first one let's go for a cover because a lot of people know the cover and this is what makes karaoke a big hit when you go even though a lot of people sing out of tune you don't really psychologically listen to them out of tune although some people go oh that's bad you eventually are listening to the track in the back of your mind how it was originally and you kind of like it it's simple psychology so the music business if you want a few tips <laughs> keep listening to the Fatsa Fatsa show I've been there man I've done it and I know what I'm talking about